Hey everybody, this is day 13 of my 40th birthday fundraiser for the Norwegian Refugee Council. Uh, in, this, in today's AMA video, Wilson asks, what are your thoughts about the future of web development and the growing impact of AI on web development? This is a really interesting question. So um, up until this point in the world, Designing websites has been something that people do. We use tools to design websites, but we are the designers that actually make the websites work. We decide what they're going to look like. We write the code and everything. And we, you know, we have tools that have helped us write better code and figure out the designs. But the actual work has already always been done by humans. Now, back in the beginning of the web, the original web design applications that were available, like FrontPage and Dreamweaver and Fire, uh, Fire. Fireworks um, had this promise of WYSIWYG or what you see is what you get uh, web design where you would have a design panel and you would lay out boxes and text and images and everything. And then the application would generate the code to make that work. That worked, but it created awful, awful code that was impossible to understand, not semantic in any way, and just generally a huge mess. And since then, which is quite a few years ago now, all the way up until now, we've been in this situation where we can get our applications to write code, but we have to have a human actually look at that code and make sure it's good, especially when it comes to CSS, because CSS, oddly enough, is really hard to get right for a computer. Now, in recent years, so pretty much just last year and maybe the year before, there's been some revolutionary things happening in web design around AI or machine learning and web design. So I've seen some demos online and in person of these really almost disturbing applications where you draw something like boxes with content inside them and either take pictures of them or film you drawing it with a webcam. And then an application uses machine learning to figure out what that HTML and CSS might look like. And it can even generate responsive CSS and stuff like that. So this technology, the idea that AI can take over web design is something that is already happening. Now I tweeted about this earlier this year or late last year and a bunch of people were like, stop, 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 stop. What are you talking about? You know, no one, no AI can take over for design. Of course, AIs can take over for the, the rote task of actually writing the code, but no AI can take over design. I think that's wrong. I think it's only a matter of time before AIs will be good enough and machine learning will be good enough to be able to replicate what we're already doing in our designs to make something that's indistinguishable from what a human is doing. And the funny part is, I still think that some of these AIs will do a better job than humans simply because us humans have a tendency of following very strict patterns. Like, you know, there's an actual bootstrap look on the web or a very large, major very large percentage of websites on the web just look the same because of bootstrap. And there's all these jokes about there's only three websites that are being designed as variants of the three exact same layouts all the time. And I honestly think that if we fed every single possible design idea, not just web design, but print design and everything else into a machine learning algorithm and allowed an AI to just come up with designs, it would probably come up with something that's different from what us humans have been doing because we have a set tendency of just repeating other people's work all the time or even repeating our own work. Does this mean that I see a future, a near or far future, where the craft of web design has gone away from humans and become something machines do? The answer is yes and no. Yes, because I think the way that we think of web design and development right now is a dying craft because of all these tools. I mean, I think within a couple of years, we'll see applications where you just generally outline what you want a page to look like and it'll cough up some JavaScript and CSS and HTML and it'll be semantic and properly done and maybe even more accessible than what we humans can come up with. I say no because you'll still have to have humans dealing with all the soft elements of a website. That means understanding the client, understanding the client's clients, understanding what is being communicated, and all of that falls into the design process. Design isn't just drawing boxes and filling them with color and deciding on fonts. It's also understanding how best to communicate an idea through the web in such a way that the intended understanding that's coming from the creator actually happens in the person receiving that content. And so that a communication and a conversation happens between those two parties. And that 
is something a computer can never do. So this is, uh, like I said, day 13 of my AMA video series in support of the Norwegian Refugee Council. If you want to take part in this video series by asking a question, or if you want to donate to my fundraiser or both, go to the URL and click on the appropriate button and take part. That's all for now. See you tomorrow.